is Poetry for Warriors Daily. Your daily dose of Poetry for Warriors. And here's your host, Joshua David Ling. 6. Red Rover The shields went up and so did James to the ship's single gunner port. Blaze went to the bridge and Pandora stayed with Dex, their situation they needed to sort. Amanda watched with Blaze on the bridge as they noted the tiny craft approaching. 320 Sphere, really grieve? Why do you have to be encroaching? I've read about these. Spheres are small, but their weapons are super powered. I hope he's just going to skirt around us. Our situation will have soured. Just then they received a call, and Amanda answered and said, Turn around, 320 Sphere, or else you will be dead. The Grievian troop didn't laugh or mock. He simply told them this. You are trespassing on Grievian space. You will receive justice. The next thing they knew, the 320 Sphere moved to attack position. It fired shots from its oversized 320 vampiric cannon. They hit the ship and rocked it hard, taking shields down to 82%. It seemed this little Grievian pit bull on destruction was hell-bent. James returned fire, but the ship was fast. Augmented by its vampiric drive, the sphere was not simply being driven. It was practically alive. It jumped and dodged James's shots left and right, then Amanda called down below. We have to do something! Dex and Pandora, use your brains! Let's go! Pandora looked at Dex and Dex back at her, and in a moment they began to smile. A digital combine sealed in some tape, and we send it a phantom file. They got to work quickly, attaching wires to parts. The ship took two more hits and out flew sparks. As Dex welded the combine, Pandora wrapped it in tape and they loaded a file on it that would do something great. They ran to the gunner port and loaded their gizmo inside, an old compressed air gun. Dex beamed with pride. James looked disgusted. Just fire the dang thing. Pandora activated the trigger, and their toy began to sing. It shot out into space and began to track for digital vampiric signals, and it found no lack. The signal given off by the sphere's vampiric weapon called to the gizmo like a light to a moth, and forward the combine was beckoned. A few moments later, it stuck to the hull, and in an instant, its weapon dulled. Quickly, Dax! That button there! Dex pushed the button, and a green gel was bared. It stretched from the ship and wrapped around the sphere and began pulling it in. How's that for fear? This little troop's gonna tell us his lies. Good work, team. You all win a prize. We'll get some very expensive secrets from him and sell them to the feds. Man, this is such a win. This has been Poetry for Warriors Daily. For more, visit joshuadavidling.com.